<laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to a very special Halloween edition of A Little Mock Test. Um, nothing really Halloween about it, apart from the fact that it's Halloween today and there was some spooky folks. Here's the first one, turning right here um, from the main road into the side road. Now you can see that there's a car waiting to come out and the centre of the new road is there so we should really be taking our car up. It's about there. But you can see that we hang back. Now that encourages this black car to move, which is wrong. They should wait on us. Um, but just because we hung back that little bit there, it gave them the notion to go. On top of that, there was a little bit of hesitation in actually making a move this time here to get around. That's another thing about being further forward. It makes it easier to make the turn into the side road. Now we get around here and we come up to the dreaded, scary, quick fit crossing. So fast forward until the light changes, um, what happens here is the light goes green, the car in front moves forward a little bit, quite delicately because there's actually a police car coming for the left. But at this moment the learner passes the car, now keep an eye on that van on the left there, right, keep an eye on them. This is too far back, we should be well into the junction by now. There's one oncoming car, the light goes to amber there, so the path now is to get round the black Audi and out of there, but they don't, they hang about here, and I had to get, I had to tell them, get a move on, that is not a place for hanging about, watch the mirror here, look at this van, they actually put the horn on at us because we were in their way, the part of that is just to do with the fact that these lights are not timed that great, but part of it was the fact that this lane I did have a chance to go and they should have. Uh, next fault here, um, there's one car coming from the right, a black car, so they quite correctly slow down and give way to that. There's a black car, now there's nothing else there. They're waiting, they're waiting, they're waiting. They should be going very hesitant at this roundabout. So, if we fast forward, it's not too far away until you get to the next fault, which is completely the opposite thing. Let's point out a few things. I'm looking to the right about here and I see a van, I'm going to point an arrow towards it there. I can see that that van's coming which means we're going to have to give way. There's also some rubbish line on the road here which I spied which means we're going to have to be quite careful. Watch the speed, they're not slowing down at all. I really had to put an emergency brake on right here and I asked the learner about this afterwards and what they said was the for whatever reason didn't see the roundabout, they were looking at the sat-nav or whatever it was. Anyway, speaking of sat-nav, when they come off this roundabout, the sat-nav was asking them to turn right at the next roundabout, fourth exit, which means that they should be making a move over to the right-hand lane. Now the sat-nav doesn't start speaking until about here. But this time it's a bit late, you should have been checking the screen and realising. Now if you look in the mirror, there's a chance for them to move over here, mirror signal manoeuvre, but they don't. So I'm thinking, okay, what they're going to do is they're going to continue to the next roundabout. They're going to go all the way around the next roundabout and then they'll come back and then they'll do what they're meant to do. So far so good, they make a move over here. The sat nav's already told them that this is going to be a right turn exit number five to come back on themselves. But things go a little bit wrong here. So they get a nice entry on to the roundabout. They didn't signal right, I had to remind them that they should have been signalling. And as you come around here, what happens is there's a split in the lane and you get to decide if you want to stay to the right, the inside, or to move slightly outward. You're going to see that split happening here. Now they decide to move into the inside. If it was me, I would have kept the car to that outside lane there, which becomes the middle of three. However, at this point they're still okay. They can still make their way back as long as they don't do anything silly. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh oh, they're just jumping across two lanes and they end up down in the industrial state. You don't want to do that. So anyway, we had a bit of a chat down here, explained that they'll just need to get the car turned round and they make their way back up to the roundabout. And we'll skip forward really to the next fault here. Um, 
but we changed the route because time was getting away from us, which is why we're up this way now. But the final fall here was there's a red, a red light ahead and they were going to be blocking this blue car so I told them we hang back here. That lets cars go into the road behind us and it also lets them come out in front of us. So, some serious faults there. Hopefully if you're watching this you're thinking, I wouldn't do that. Why did they do that? Well, I don't know why people do it. It just makes mistakes. It's all part of learning. Hopefully these videos help. Somebody makes one mistake and somebody watches it and then there's hopefully less chance of someone else doing it. So there you go guys, Halloween video for you. Um, we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.